Welcome to today's South South program. I'm Bill Miller. One of the main goals of South South News is to focus attention on unique economic, social, and developmental activities that are taking place, especially in developing countries. Today we're going to focus on Moldova and talk about some of the unique, innovative things that are taking place in this area of the world. My guest today is the Ambassador Alexandru Kuzba, and he is the permanent representative of Moldova to the United Nations. Mr. Ambassador, welcome to today's South South News program. Good morning, Mr. Miller. I'm glad to see you. Let's talk about Moldova. I'm sure some of our viewers are familiar with Moldova. They know where it is. They're very familiar, but some may not be. What, tell us a little bit about Moldova. How large is it land-wise, population-wise? What are some of the major industries? Where is it located? Moldova is relatively a young country, so we uh, got our independence on the 27th of August 1991. So we'll be celebrating 20th anniversary this year. And uh, we are uh, located in the southeastern part of Europe between, uh, we have two neighbors, Romania and Ukraine. Moldova is relatively a small country. We have 33,800 square kilometers. Explain to American uh, viewers, it would be slightly larger than the state of Maryland. Um, Moldova is uh, um, a country with a population of 3,600,000 people and uh, uh, out of those 78% uh, are ethnically uh, Moldovans. We have also a significant Ukrainian and Russian minorities, as well as Gagauz and Bulgarians. Moldovan is the official language. According to our constitution, the Moldovan language is the official language of uh, uh, Moldova. And uh, at the same time, many linguists recognize that the Moldovan language is basically the Romanian language. And a lot of people speak Russian. Of course, from the former Soviet times, a lot of people know Russian and they also speak Russian. Uh, at the same time, many youth, they uh, study and they uh, handle very well English, French, Spanish, and some of them German. Multilinguistically talented, very good. Well, let's talk about the key industries. What are some of your major industries in Moldova? I would start with another, uh, another aspect of uh, uh, Moldova. Moldova lacks significant mineral resources. Uh, and uh, uh, because of that, uh, uh, we rely heavily on agriculture. So um, w pr we are growing grapes, vegetables, fruits, uh, tobacco, sugar beets, and uh, uh, of course the food, producing, uh, food processing industry is very uh, developed in Moldova. We produce wine, we produce sugar, we produce tobacco products and besides that, textile and some other industries. The United Nations back in 2000, the majority of the countries came together in New York and they developed the Millennium Development Goal campaign. But what are some of the programs that are underway to focus attention and to, to work towards achieving these Millennium Development Goals? Moldova is a country that uh, belongs to the group of countries with economy in transition. So uh, from the former Soviet times, when we had an authoritarian government and centralized economy, we moved in the last 20 years to a democratic government with the free market economy. It is a really a difficult process and, and the, uh, the economic development still is one of the challenges for Moldova. Um, you mentioned the Millennium Development Goals uh, adopted in the year of 2000. Moldova supported the adoption of those goals and uh, Moldova also was uh, an active participant to the major UN conferences that uh, uh, the results of those conferences being incorporated in the MDGs. Um, the Moldovan government uh, elaborated uh, uh, development programs of Moldova and MDGs are an integral part of those development programs. So uh, reducing uh, uh, poverty and uh, fighting hunger would be one of the main goals of our government. Uh, the results achieved by Moldova in implementing MDGs are positive, but still we have to work more on the uh, realization of those targets that were set up by the United Nations 
by the year of 2015. And one of the advantages of the review summit that was held, the Millennium Development Goal Review Summit held in September of 2010, 2010, as you look at the 21st century, what do you see as some of the major challenges to Moldova as far as, I know you're an economically, a country in economic transition, but what do you see as some of the challenges? Is climate change one of the major areas that you're concerned about? Yes, climate change would be uh, one of the major concerns from Moldova, uh, and uh, I can uh, exemplify with the um, um, events in Moldova the last three years. In the year of 2007, we witnessed a severe drought in Moldova. The uh, results of the, that drought uh, might be compared only with the uh, droughts in the end of the 19th century and uh, a severe drought in 1946. So that would be one of the three major events uh, regarding the climate change in Moldova the last century. Uh, regretfully, uh, the, the results of the, that drought uh, uh, was uh, impeding severely the development of Moldova. We witnessed losses of uh, near one billion US dollars. Uh, at the same time, in 2008 and 2010, we had floods in Moldova. So moving from one extremity to another, from a drought to floods, and, and uh, uh, since Moldova is uh, predominantly an agricultural, a country with agricultural industry, so uh, it is really difficult to uh, maintain and to uh, um, have uh, the uh, sustain, sustainable development of Moldova. And of course it's very difficult. You have a drought and then you have flooding and which is Australia just experienced that. They've had a, over a 10 year drought and then they find this horrific flooding in the northern part and, and in other parts of the country. So it's very difficult. How, do the, how are the farmers doing now? Are they starting, is the drought about to end or is it still underway? Uh, the flooding has stopped. The drought uh, was witnessed during the four, five months period of time and the floods during the summertime uh, um, and, and farmers are, are back working the, 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 the fields. Uh, at the same time the government intervened with uh, programs to assist and to help our, our farmers. And this is, a lot of people, a lot of experts believe climate change is the number one problem in the world and that this, this erratic weather pattern or these erratic weather patterns we're seeing are going to become even worse and it's going to become even more difficult to deal with these problems. How does, how is, are there some unique ICT activities underway in Moldova that you can share with us today in the educational area or in the, in the environmental area or wherever it might be, health area? Oh, in, in Moldova we have a specialized governmental body that deals with information and technologies. It is called the Ministry of Information Technology and Communications. And uh, that is one of the uh, areas where Moldova showed uh, a positive advancement during the last years. So we were able to introduce and implement uh, a country's passportization system so now all the citizens of Moldova, they have national IDs and passports that are um, made at the European, say, international level and standards. Uh, from 1st of January this year, in accordance with our commitments uh, on the European integration path, we uh, uh, adopted a law and we will be issuing only biometric passports. Uh, the e-transformation of the government of Moldova is another uh, uh, innovation in Moldova. We created uh, an e-center, e-government center, and uh, uh, this would uh, allow people's, uh, people of Moldova to assess governmental uh, offices and services through electronic means that would uh, make this process easier and transparent.